in today's experiment, I am going to explain uh, the PWM duty cycle, uh, how to use it in Arduino, and uh, what is the range we should give for Arduino code, and what is the meaning of that uh, range, and what are the applications of this uh, uh, duty cycle, variation, varying the duty cycle, or very, uh, using the PWM technique that I'm going to discuss today. Uh, before doing the experiment, you stay for two minutes. I'll explain what is duty cycle. After that, I'll, I'm going to uh, do an experiment on duty cycle. So duty cycle refers to the ratio of time that a system or device is active. So or on compared to the total time of its operation or a cycle. In simple, I can tell you duty cycle is defined as the ratio of on period divided by the total time period. Total time period is T on plus T off into 100%. Where T on is the time duration during which the signal is in on state. So uh, on T on is nothing but the on period of the signal. T total is nothing but total time period of one cycle of the waveform. So it is called as a duty cycle. For example, a duty cycle of 50%. If you get 50% duty cycle, it means that the signal is active for half of the total time period. Uh, total, uh, for half of the total cycle time and it is inactive for other half cycle. It means 50% uh, half of the period it will be in on condition and half of the period it will be in a off condition. Uh, off condition is called as inactive and uh, duty cycle of 25 25% uh, means the signal is active or the it is the device is in on condition for one quarter of the cycle so one quarter of the cycle means one fourth of the cycle and it will be off or inactive for the remaining three quarters so 25% it will be in on condition and the remaining 75% it will be in off condition so in applications like PWM control, uh, the duty cycle is used to control the average power delivered to the load. With the help of this technique, and the, what is the average power uh, uh, delivered to the load that we can uh, going to get it from the PWM control. By adjusting the duty cycle, you can vary the intensity of the output. For in, today, in today's experiment, I'll show you how the brightness level of the LED varies according to the uh, varying the duty cycle. Or uh, in, the, in the next video, I am going to do uh, using PWM technique, uh, how the speed of the DC motor is varied. So in that case also, the speed can be varied with the help of the PWM signal. By changing the portion, uh, proportion, uh, proportion of the time signal uh, is in active state relative to the total si time cycle. So this is in a waveform uh, in this uh, the device is in on condition for 50% and it is in off condition for 50%. So the duty cycle is 50%. In the second waveform, the device is on for 75% and it is in off for 25%. Uh, so uh, the duty cycle is 75%. And the third waveform, the device is on only for 25% and it is off for 75%. The duty cycle is 25%. In the next waveform, uh, we can calculate the average DC value. With the help of this duty cycle, how much power is delivered to the load, we can calculate with the help of this uh, uh, formula. So average value is equal to reference value into duty cycle. Uh, the reference value, if you are taking 5 volts, then duty cycle into 5 volts, you should do that much average voltage will be delivered to the load. Uh, in this case, 25% duty cycle. So average value is... 25% uh, is 25 divided by 100. 25 divided by 100 is nothing but 0 0.25. 0 0.25 into reference voltage. That much voltage will be delivered to the load. So if you increase the duty cycle, so it is 0.5 into V reference. The voltage will be increased. So as the duty cycle increases, see here, the duty cycle is 75%. It is 0.75 times V reference. As the duty cycle increases, the reference voltage delivered to the load also increases. So in uh, in Arduino, you uh, you know uh, using the um, uh, I Arduino IDE software, uh, we can't give twenty five percent uh, or fifty percent like that. 
So using PWM pulse width modulation, duty cycle refers to the percentage of time of PWM signal remains on compared to the total time period of the signal. So here, uh, the duty cycle is represented in Arduino from, ranging from 0 to 255. So uh, because the full range of 8-bit value, 2 to the power 8 is 256. So from 0 to 255, we can vary. So uh, here, uh, duty cycle 0 in Arduino corresponds to PWM signal that is always low, 0% on. A uh, duty cycle 255 means PWM signal, it is high for 100%. So the intermediate values between 0 to 255 it represents the percentage of time PWM signal is on during each period. So one example I'll give. For example, if a duty cycle, if I give the number 128, because 128 lies between 0 to 255. 128 means uh, it is 256 divided by 2. It means 50% of 255 is nothing but 128. So the 50% duty cycle, if you want to give, you should give the number as 128. So the PWM signal is on for half of the period and it will be off for another half of the period. If I give the number 64 or 255 divided by 2 is 64. So 50% divided by 2 is 25%. 25% 25 of 255 is nothing but 64. So the signal is on for one fourth of the time period and it will be off for three fourth of the time period. So in this way, you can, you with the help of PWM signal, you can control the intensity of the LED or as well as the speed of the motor. So I'll show you, I'll demonstrate with the help of the Arduino Uno board. This is the connection I have made. Uh, one LED I'm connecting to ground, another to, uh, to the pin number 11. The tilt symbol you can see here, 3, 5, 6, 9, 10, 11. This uh, tilt symbol, is the, uh, the pin numbers having the tilt symbol, uh, they represent the PWM signal. To any, any of these pins, you can connect to the anode of the LED. And better, you should connect one register and from register, connect it to uh, the pin. Uh, to uh, protect the port pin, you can do that. And uh, this is a, a code I have taken. I am connecting the anode to pin number 11. And in wide setup, I am making uh, pin number 11 as output pin. And uh, uh, for loop, I am taking 0 to 255. For i equal to 0, i less than 255, i plus plus. So I am going, since it is a continuously varying value, I should write, uh, I should take analog right, not the digital right. Analog right, LED 1 comma i. I becomes 0, when i becomes 1, uh, uh, intensity increases, i becomes 2, the intensity further increases, it increases up to 255. So after that, I am giving a delay of 6, 6 uh, milliseconds of time delay I am giving. And uh, from high intensity to low intensity, I should take one more for loop. J is equal to 255, J greater than 0, J minus minus. In this, I am going to uh, decrease the intensity of the LED. And again, I am going to give 6 milliseconds of time delay. So this loop will be continued. So I can show you uh, how to do this experiment now. Uh, see here, now the intensity is reducing. And again, it is increasing. From 255 to 0, it is reducing. Increased. From 255 to 0, it is reducing completely. Again, from 0 to 255, it is increasing. And now I have modified the code and I uh, have kept uh, the delay 10 milliseconds here. Earlier, I, uh, I uh, I wrote here 6, 6 milliseconds. Now, mm, uh, here, uh, 10 milliseconds for increasing brightness and 8 milliseconds for decreasing brightness. And in serial monitor, you can see the decreasing brightness. It will decrease up to 0. Again, uh, it starts increasing, increasing up to 255. So, that you can uh, uh, see it in a serial monitor. The same thing you can see it in LED. Now it is, uh, wait for a second, I will tell you. Now it is complete brightness is there. Step by step the brightness level decreases and it becomes 0. Again it starts increases. So from 0 to 255 it increases and from 255 to 0 
again the brightness level decreases. 0 means 0 duty cycle, 255 means 100% duty cycle.